Alright guys, so we had a bit of a mishap last uh, episode there. Well, what was going to be first episode, but uh, you didn't miss much. Basically, um, just did a couple of things. I explained like what was like what was going on um, and why I'm doing this. So basically, I'm doing this uh, series just as a way to branch out from the Fortnite experience that you guys have all enjoyed and loved. Um, more or less, I'm just going to be doing some retro games that I'm, I used to play when I was a kid. Um, and one of them is going to be Paper Mario. So this is going to be the first episode here. Um, and what you missed was basically Mario is going to save Princess Peach from the castle that Bowser's got her captured in. Um, he's taken her up into the stars. The star spirits have been all captured and cannot do anything to uh, help until Mario gets them back um, because the star rod that Bowser has stolen, which I have not yet mentioned, but I am now mentioning, is uh, uh, is too powerful for or too keeps him invincible to any of uh, Mario's attacks. So we're gonna try and save her. Um, hopefully we can do it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's more or less what you missed. Um, I also came back from being in here, which is an inn. So this inn can, like, I can heal Mario at any time by talking to Toad, and I'll actually go back into this bed. So that was, that's that. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I just finished talking to him, this guy here, and uh, what happened was a block came down, um, and now I can't get by. So we're going to go try and find a hammer that's going to be able to destroy that. Um, that is probably in here. So we're going to go in here. I mean, I do know where it's at, but, you know, it's not in here. It's actually out here. Now, there used to be a veranda here um, last, last uh, time I played, but uh, it's just disappeared, so... Now we're, now we're back down at the bottom. <laughs> and where he's paper, obviously he's not going to take any fall damage. So that's, that's kind of funny. That's a little bit of a joke. So there's the Goomba. He's the grandpa of the Goombas that was there in that house. Oh, my back. Hmm, who's that? That you, Mario? Also, I'm, yeah, before I start talking, like I, I haven't already talked, um, is that... I'm going to start doing commentary, but I don't know if you guys want me to read this out or just give you guys enough time to read it. I think I'm going to give you guys just enough time to read it if you wanted to, um, and I'll just talk over it, because it's not really anything I haven't already read or already know, um, but if you guys want to hear me read it, I'd be sure to do it. Just leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. So basically right now what he's talking about is... Uh, whether to get like where we we're gonna have to find his hammer that he had built fixing the veranda which broke of course and uh, it should be able to smash these blocks is from what I'm getting so now we're gonna go look for it once I get it, I'll be able to hit that as well so we're going in here the hammer has got to be somewhere close by Alright, so it's in one of these bushes. We'll get some coins over here. I'm pretty sure I know which bush it's in, but I'm just going to get some coins first. I'm going to save our game as well. Never hurts to save our game. Ooh, two coins. I could have just gotten that one over there. Yeah, the other way. There it is. We found the hammer. So this is, so remember, well, I guess I can't say that. I can't, yeah, don't mind me. You're going to be able to use the hammer in battle is what I'm basically saying. And I've mentioned it before, but that was in the video that I tried to render earlier. So i got to try to remember that. That did not happen. So, <laughs> in YouTube world, it did not happen. In real life, it did. 
So now we'll be able to destroy blocks with the hammer, as you can see. Oh, and then we can get some coins from here. Oh, there we go. Got a dolly. Yeah, so I'll have to give that to her. It's her doll. Just seeing if there's anything interesting in these trees. I can't remember if you get an item from one of these trees or not. I know that in some trees you'll be able to drop items that will actually be battle items. So anyway, we got that at least. So let's get out of here. Oh. We just got beat. Oh, and this will be your rival through the game, just so you guys know. He's kind of a pest, if anything. And he changes all the time. So, I kind of skipped that fast, but basically we're just going to battle this guy. And I'm going to use the hammer first, because... I don't think jumping actually does anything to him with his, his skull, or the way he has his skull covered. So we're just going to keep using the hammer for now. Let's give him another whack. I can't remember how much health this guy has again. So we've done three damage so far, so... It's either four or five health, I think. He thinks he's got me, but I've got him. Yeah, I figured it was five health. Once we get 100 star points, we'll be able to actually level up. So basically, star points are your experience in this game. So once you get 100 experience, you'll be able to level up. We're getting close. Let's see what's in these. There we go. See how I said there'd be battle items in there? I knew there was an item here somewhere. I know I, I mentioned it in what was going to be the video I was going to make before, but this is a game I've played before as a kid, and uh, I do know not a lot, not everything, but I do remember some things. So this isn't really a blind let's play. It's going to be more of a, a, a memory, uh, or yeah, we'll see how my memory is in this game kind of uh, let's play. Oh, some Bowser servants are up ahead. Um, well, I, we'll be able to get a first strike on them if we get a chance is basically what he's saying. Let's give her a go, because I do... Oh, I guess I timed that terribly. But that's okay, we're going to get them anyway. They've only got two health, I'm pretty sure. So they're pretty easy. I can't remember how much experience points I get right away. Okay, so it's two points. Every little bit helps though. So we're going to be battling all of them because we do need the experience. See, now I could have probably gotten him, but I just, I don't have my uh, buttons set up on my controller right now properly. That's okay. These guys also have two health as well. But they do more damage due to the spike on their head. And I can't jump on them because I don't have the spiky shoes. Which will be in in the upcoming future. I'll be able to get those. There we go. First strike. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Get a coin from him. Go hit this tree. Okay, it was just a coin. I thought there was more, but got our first star piece. Star pieces will be will be able to use uh, later on in the game as like a almost like a, uh, a consumable uh, or not consumable a uh, a money item. Um, it'll actually be able to be used to 
secure or make trades with somebody in Star Haven, I think it is. So we'll keep gathering those up as well. Now once I jump on him, he'll be on the ground. And now I could hit him with a hammer or a jump, but I'm going to just jump on him just to get it over with. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now that we've defeated all of them, we'll be able to come back up to the main spot here. Open this. Oh, so he's going to unlock it for us so we can open it. Because it was locked from the outside as well. Sorry if I skip this too fast, guys. I'm just, uh, I want to get into the game and show you guys the actual gameplay. <clears throat> now, it's her doll, the pink Goomba there. Um, so I'll be giving that back to her now. And I got a star piece for it. Oh, she gives you a kiss. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, shit. I, I kind of skipped that a little faster, but that's okay. So now, you do get partners in this game, and the first partner is going to be um, him, the, the little Goomba there with the hat. I can't remember his name. Oh, and we get our first badge. The badges will also be used as uh, things that we can use in battle. They're almost like um, special skills that they give you, each badge. You're going to get so many badge points that you can use as well. I'm not going to do the quick lesson because I know what I'm, what they do. Okay, so he's. I must have pressed yes by accident, but I guess I can show you guys this part this is pretty easy so badges all badges power jump turn it on and you can turn it off as well and you can just press start to exit the menu all right sorry guys I'm just gonna skip this part really fast it's more of just a tutorial than anything there's no real storyline or being talked about here Oh, it's Goomba Ariel. He's almost like Mario with Goomba in it. <laughs> there we go. Goombario. He's our first little partner who will join us. It makes it so you can almost have two attacks at once, because he'll be able to do his own attack as well. It's good to have, especially if you're trying to you're trying to powerhouse on one guy. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn that badge back on, because I'm pretty sure you turn it off in, yeah, you turn it off in the tutorial, so we're going to turn it back on. Um, we're going to go save and end it here, guys. Just, I'm so glad that I think that this is going to work this time. Um, last time didn't work because I was using a expired um, uh, uh, program called Fraps. It doesn't work on Windows 10, apparently, so... I'm using the uh, Windows default uh, screen capture. I'm going to see how it works and see if it works any good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this today. Um, leave a comment and like down below. Um, and please be uh, brutally honest and let me know what you guys thought of this. I really like some feedback. Um, if you guys enjoyed uh, and you like it, just let me know and uh, we'll keep going with it. But for now, this is what we've got, and uh, this is East Coast Gamers, out.